<laughs> so I'm sitting at breakfast with my elders, and I always try to listen to my elders, you know. Now that I'm an elder, <laughs> y'all better listen to me, <laughs> you know. But they're always asking me to do different things and ask me my opinions about things, and uh, sometimes they don't like the answers I give. <laughs> I, I'm too direct, I guess, anymore. And, uh, you know, uh, the lady, bless her heart, this morning says, Mike, why don't you come join us in the Republican Party back here? And, and, and you're always in here, you know everybody and that kind of thing. And I said, well, I just don't do those things anymore. I, you know, I just don't uh, join groups anymore. You know, I keep uh, religion and politics out of things as far as business and those kind of things. I'm a very conservative person, and I love God, and I do my own thing. You know, I've done that stuff years ago, and I found out it's all vanity. <laughs> Even Jesus shut up when, damn, he was, uh, you know, standing there. He could have called all the heavens in on him. And uh, so God's going to make it right one day, so I don't worry about those things. I still believe in voting. I still believe in going to church and those kind of things, you know. But in the meantime, uh, you know, I try to give people a straight-up answer, the best I know how from my experiences and what I've gone through. And uh, that sets people aback right now because I'm so straightforward now. And, uh, you know, I do use a little uh, I pepper in my conversations sometimes, and uh, sometimes I don't. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, I'm a little, uh, you know, I try to be nice, and, and that's the best way to be in everything is to be nice. And uh, that's where our problem and our breakdown is, is, is none of us are nice. Uh, you know, whether you're watching Fox News or CNN or all those kind of things, they're all pushing their own agendas. And, you know, one might be better than the other. Hell, I don't know. You know, I, I just judge people by their character and what I see when I notice them. And I am a conservative. I, I believe in, you know, family and all those kind of things. And so I'm slanted with that filter. So if you're slanted the other way and hate God and all those kind of things, man, it's all right. We can still hang out together. You know, we'll drink a glass of wine or, you know, whatever you want to do. You know, that don't matter to me. You know, I try to just love people no matter where. It's like this whole thing with, uh, you know, people like hating on each other. You know, Christians, I see that all the time. It drives me crazy. You know, televangelists are the world's worst, you know. Now, televangelists, we can all slice and dice them just like we want to, you know, because they've heard us and done all kind of things. You know, and I've been I've been inspired by televangelists. I love televangelists. You know, some of the most influential people in my life have been some of the people that stand just to hurt the hell out of me the most. But, you know, if your heart is right and you're looking for the right thing and, and you're believing the right thing and somebody says it uh, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, I don't care if a dog says it, a rooster says it, a, a donkey says it, whoever says it, a woman says it, a devil says it. You know, if your heart is hurting and, and, and longing for the Lord and, and thirsting after righteousness, man, he's going to give it to you through whoever who he wants to use. And it doesn't matter. He can use anything he wants to use. And the problem with most Christians is we're too busy dissecting one another. We're worrying about whether you're Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian. Hell, that this shit don't matter. Damn, you know, is your heart change? You know, what's your heart like? You know, uh, you know, you're too busy uh, pointing at everybody else what they're not doing right for the Lord, or you know, they shouldn't be hanging around those people. I've heard that one here lately. You know, hell, you know, I hang around with all kind of people. Look at the look at what we watch on television. All those kind of things. Hell, we're damn crooked and perverse as hell any generation has ever been. You know, people say it's the worst now it's ever been. Hell, no, it ain't. It's always been bad. Damn, shit. You know, don't be damn foolish. Golly, man, it's crazy town out there, man. And God's coming back, gonna make it right. In the meantime, we gotta be good and make it right with one another and, uh, you know, occupy till he returns is what the Bible says. I love that, you know, just take up residence. Be faithful over a few things, you know. Damn, take care of yourself and don't worry about nobody else, man. You know, I ain't got to tell about how bad somebody is on, on television. Hell, are you on television? Are you preaching? How many people you lead to the Lord? How many people you feed? Don't worry about this damn world around you. Worry about right where you're at, man, and be good to one another. That's all I'm saying. So that's why I'm not joining no groups or anything like that, man. Be true to yourself. And remember, the Holy Spirit sees everything. He sees everything, you know. So, you know, the IRS, you ain't got to worry about the IRS. You ain't got to worry about all that stuff. The devil, hell, I dance with the devil. Shit, you know. He ain't got no power. <laughs>